Hello again. I'd like to talk a little bit more about the Antichrist, about things that you may not be aware of. In the first part of that, I alluded to Scripture, just a straight comparison of Scripture of why Christians should be questioning what's going on. But here I'm going to allude to some things that most people don't know are going on. I cannot say to what extent these things will be used in the deception, but it's to alert you, because there is great technology out there that most people are unaware of, and it's meant to be this way. So, what I had thought from early on in my studies is I had thought that the beast would be a relatively unknown person. Why do I say that? If we look to Luke 4.24, Jesus is saying that a prophet has no honor in his hometown. If you remember, one of the, the great things with Jesus during the days of his flesh, people in his hometown or that knew him before said, Is not this the carpenter's son? In other words, he grew up with them. And it didn't seem to them like he could be God, like he could be this fulfillment of the Messiah prophecy. And so in this way, I had long thought that Satan would not uh, choose someone who was well known because he would not be received. And so that is just a speculation on my part. But I had thought that, and perhaps it will play out that way as some of these possibilities. As you read from, from the book of Genesis, chapter 6, verses 1 through 4, you will see there was a time it refers to the sons of God coming down and interbreeding with mankind. Now these would be the fallen angels. These would be those that rebelled against God. Uh, a refer reference to the sons of God is also made in the first two chapters of the book of Job. And we just take these to be angelic hosts, angelic beings. And as you know, of course, it was not permitted for the, for the uh, fallen angels to come and interbreed with uh, human women. And this was a, a key part in leading to the judgment that came in the flood of Noah. As we see, these became powerful men. There were giants in the land. And this led greatly to the flood of Noah. Please look that up. Uh, the book of Genesis, chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. And so one thing that I've become aware of that I believe, and that is that since World War II, the higher-ups in national governments that have been trying to work toward a new world order have been in collusion with these kind of spirits. In other words, the same thing that happened in Genesis 6 is happening again. It worked then, and it will work now. So this is my opinion. And it's just a warning because I don't want Christians to be blown away by this. It may come to the time when there are supposed aliens visiting earth and they will speak great lies. I want you to believe the Bible. I want you to know that the, I want you to know that the Bible has alluded to these things before so that you will hold on to the Word of God. We have known even that recently UFOs, unidentified flying objects, typically thought of as flying saucers many times. This has become declassified by the United States government, and they have been documenting these again pretty much since World War II. Uh, this came about through interactions through the, the Roswell interaction, but also there was an interaction with Admiral Byrd of the U.S. Navy a year before 1946. There is some evidence that they were also in collusion with Nazi leaders during World War II. I do not go into this much. I do not know how the world would receive an alien antichrist or the alien interaction. But in case it happens, I want you to know that there are possibilities in Scripture that talk about it. We need to remember 1 John 4.1 just to test the spirits, to believe the Word of God, to hold everything up to the light of God's Word. One thing I also wanted to mention with you was something called a Project Blue Beam. Project Blue Beam uh, basically involves holographic images. In other words, you might look up in the sky and think you see a spaceship. Uh, you might look up in the sky and think you see the Messiah returning. This Project Blue Beam is very, very high technology. It is very real. And those who expose this project 
I think uh, there were two main people. The one for sure was was murdered. Uh, the other one, I think, they had put away for alleged mental illness. They did not want this technology to be exposed. But this is one way in which the Antichrist could pull off a false second coming of Christ. It is expected that each region of the world might see their Messiah coming, the one they expect. The Buddhists would see uh, their Buddhist Messiah. Uh, the Muslims would see the Muslim Messiah. They would see the one they expect coming in their region of the world. There is also a possibility from the technology that I have been aware of. And that is they could put thoughts, and thoughts inside of your head. It would seem like this. It has to do with an electronic frequency so that you might even think that you're hearing God speak to you. And so what I want you to do is I want you to study and believe the Bible. I don't want you to be concerned for these things, but be aware of them. I just felt that I had to warn you, as far-fetched as it may sound to some, we have looked at these things for many years now. It is a time of high technology and high deception, but we will overcome it by the power of God, by the blood of the Lamb, and His precious Holy Spirit. May God bless you.